So onward to part 7, which is gonna be the banana cup, I think? Nah, it's just a star cup. I... I don't know. I've gone through this menu a bunch of times, but I just think something different. So let's see if I'm able to do the glitch. If so, then hooray. If not, then... Oh well, at least I tried. Let's see. Two. Speed boost. Alright. Let's see if I'm able to do it. Oh, sweet. I'm able to do it. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Look how far I am in first place. Oh, let's see if I'm able to do it again. This is a thing that I love to do every single time. Now that I'm able to do it, it's going to be nice. Look how, just look how magnificently far I am. Get this whole entire, oh my god, I even missed the items. This is going to cost me some. Maybe if I do the glitch the second time, we'll be happy and then we'll be able to do this. Probably someone accidentally discovered it when they got hit by a green shell or red shell. Or maybe even a blue shell while they're at an angle. And then they flipped over on the other side. I'm like, what the heck happened? That's probably the reason. Like, a lot of these shortcuts are found by accident. And then everybody tells everyone about it and now they know. So, this is a good shortcut for you guys if you actually want to try it out. Is the integrity of the game? I just want to get it done quickly. Because, you know. <laughs> so many jump cuts. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, nope. Can't do it a second time, but hey, oh well, I'm not going to try it. I'm way up ahead, so it's all good. I know there's another shortcut that I could possibly do, but I'm not going to try it. Maybe I'll look up any other shortcuts if I want to, but for now, we're going to leave it as that. After this whole entire episode, I'm going to look up for more shortcuts. Blah, I can't even talk. Shortcuts, so that I'll be able to get most of the racetracks done in a quick, in a quick manner. Grammar here, I suck at talking. I suck at commentary. Why do you guys watch me? Uh, low self-esteem issues. Oh, uh, first world problems. Oh my god, I missed another one. Well, if I can do it the third time, it's gonna be nice. There is a world record for, of course, any other game. What makes, what classifies as a world record? I know that the Guinness world record probably may not look into it, but just as long as you have the video, Probably it'll show everyone that, hey, it is a world record. Just like when Cosmo Speedrun actually got the world record, like, how many other times he got on it. But now he has a world record of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for 18 minutes and 10 seconds. He's been in the game in 18 minutes and 10 seconds. I saw the recording of the live stream. He's going to post it up on YouTube sometime soon. But still, for a game that took me... I don't know. Uh, heck, I did it at 100%, but still, like a game that's taken that much time, it's amazing. Come on, do it! Oh, nope. Uh, okay. Ah, well. I, I messed up on that one, but hey, I'm still in first place. Just look at the lead, and oh my god, they're actually catching up. That is scary. That is scary to know that they're able to catch up that quickly. <laughs> if only I was able to perfect it then this would be even a shorter time. I probably would have gotten this done in under two minutes, but eh, it works. Just as long as I've been in first place without any complications whatsoever, it makes it worth it. And I think I hit someone. I hit someone that was in fourth place. But even then, I'm so far up in the lead, I don't think it's going to affect me that much. And now Toad's right behind me. Thank you, Toad. Come on, Toad. You know why I hate you. You always beat me somewhere, shape, or form, and you actually threw a banana and you made your slip on your own banana. Genius. Just pure genius. Albert Einstein at that best. Or who's the most intelligent person in the world? I don't even know. The IQ is over 200. I'm like, oh my god. Where do people actually come up with IQ? And does IQ even mean anything anymore? Just because a person has a high IQ. Hey, hey buddy. What's up, man? <laughs> Even though the Peterson may have a high high a IQ, I was supposed to say HQ. I don't have a high I don't have a high I IQ. What can I say? I'm an idiot. But even then, even if a person has a very high IQ, that doesn't mean that they are a great person. Just saying. Hmm. This this whole entire thing took me. A, they cut a minute short. So pretty much every time when you do the shortcut, it literally takes away a good 35 seconds. On to the next racetrack. Again, I'm not intelligent, so I can't say things correctly.
Can you imagine, like, the person who has the highest IQ actually doing Let's Plays? Can you imagine that? That would be weird. What would he say in the commentary? Would he just explain how he, becomes, he became so smart? How the genetics were able to actually benefit him in that way? Or maybe he'll teach us a lot of things about things that are not related to the game. He'll probably be the best Let's Player in the world where he literally talks nothing about the game but he talks about everything around us. Who knows? But I'm kind of scared of the fact that if celebrities were to do like Let's Plays and all that stuff, it could ruin the community. It could ruin a lot of things. It could ruin YouTube for a lot of people. I'm just glad that celebrities kind of know their place and then of course there's the other celebrities that actually get their hands on YouTube and make good content no less but the fact that they are celebrities that what helps them the most they could be like the they could have the worst channel in the world but just as long as they're a celebrity it's still gonna get the views so it's kind of scary that celebrities would go on YouTube you know like Jimmy Kimmel yeah that's the only one I could actually name off other than Steve-O, of course. Steve-O has his own channel. I think Bam Majera had his own channel for a while. A lot, of, a lot of celebrities have their own channel, but still, it's kind of scary the fact that, again, they could be the people that ruin YouTube for everybody else, just as long as they're a celebrity. Every time they upload a video, it's going to get the most views, and more likely, it's going to be featured. You know, like like I said, Jimmy... Jimmy Kimmel, 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 I don't even know how to pronounce his name, I don't even watch his show, but every time when he uploads a video, it always pretty much gets to the front page of YouTube. You've seen it before, people, you've seen it before. Kind of gets obnoxious at times. Ah oh, well, rant over. I'm not the type of person who will ever probably get a viral video going anytime soon, but if I ever do, I'll, I'll just make a thank you video for everyone. Oh, I should have used a ghost. <sighs> oh, that works. Come on, come on, there you go. And I'm safe for now. Oh, it's the third lap anyways. This lap went on very, very quickly. Sometimes when you go on a commentary, you don't even know what's going on. You just, it just, it's done. It's like, what the heck just happened? Did I get hit by anesthesia again? I wouldn't mind getting hit by anesthesia again. That was kind of funny. Again, I just blinked and then it's done. Whatever happened, happened. And anesthesia is safe, just as long as you do the proper dosage. Don't overdose, and then don't underdose. If you overdose, you could kill the patient. Underdose, the patient wakes up during surgery. And then, of course, there's going to be the lawsuit. But even then, the doctor will be safe from that lawsuit. The only ones that can get you the lawsuit is the person who produced, or not produced, who put the anesthesia in your body. Just saying, because the anesthesia... You get billed separately from the anesthetics department, and they're the one responsible for putting you to sleep, so if they mess up, you could sue them, you just can't sue the doctor. Either way, malpractice everyone. Too bad, even in ghost mode, I cannot... Oh, snap! Snap! Why can't, why can't I reverse? What the heck? I couldn't even reverse! Yeah, I know it's backwards! Oh my god. I am n What the heck? What the heck? Alright, let's try this again. That was completely and utterly stupid. I don't know how I missed it. It was just barely by a frame. I still don't know how in the world I could have missed it, but it happened, so now I had to just jump cut and do all that over again, because... Apparently in this game, there was no option to actually reverse. I tried, it did not even work. It just like literally glitched to where I can't even do it. Even my friend was actually having some trouble of reversing. So you actually literally had to drive around, go reverse, like go the wrong way, just to get back in the track. But if I were to do that, there was no way I was going to be able to actually catch up from there. God dang, stop hitting me! Alright, let's try that. Not, let's try not to do that again. Go away. Alright, that was good. Seriously, are the arrows like in, like are the arrows moving or is that how it looks? Oh god. That was weird. I thought I hit that banana, but I guess that didn't work. Alright, ghost time. Yeah, ghost does not do anything when you're going on the grass, but hey. Go away. So again, if you guys have anything for me to talk about in the future let's plays or 
more than likely a future Let's Plays, but because by the time this video gets up, I'm probably already going to be done with it. Again, I do a lot of binge recording, and if this would have gone smoothly, it would have already been completed. Like literally, I've been recording for nearly three hours at the time of this video. So yeah, I do a lot of binge recording because I want to get as many episodes as done as like as possible, so I can hurry up and start a next Let's Play and pretty much be already set in stone to make more videos and especially when like if I were to record eight videos and upload those eight videos it'd probably take nearly two weeks for all of them to be uploaded god dang that was so wow either way whoa no thank you oh toad you're not my friend I never liked you I don't know what your appeal is you're still a punching bag Oh god. Oh god. That was bad. Just as long as I have this one mushroom, I'll probably be good. What? What if one? No! Well, I got first place. I got first place twice, so. I don't think this is gonna be that big of a deal. I'll be able to probably catch up just as long as I get good items. Just as long as I beat in the first top three, I guess. So let's see. Well, there's three. Toad is in second place, so I don't have to worry about Toad. I just have to worry about Luigi. But as far as I know, Luigi was not... Well, at least Luigi, as far as I know, did not do anything. Like, he hasn't won any first place or second place or third place. Oh my god, this happened again. No! What was the deal with this? God dang it! I'll be back to you guys once again. Alright. I just wanted to guarantee that I would win. Going through that twice! Same mistake! I used to love this map for the ramp, but now that's the only thing I love is level 4. Everything else, this is just garbage. Especially that little roundabout right there. If you, excuse me, don't matter. No, no, no excuses. No excuse me. You deserve that. Anyways, just pretty much if you go in the grassy area in that turn, you're automatically going to fall in there. It's so bad. And look how big of a lead I have right now. Even if I go in last place, I don't think we could actually lose. The most you could get, I think, is 12 points. Wait, I'll take that back. I have no idea how, how this... I know it's 12 points. 9 points, 6 points, and then 1 point. Or was it 3 points? I don't remember! No, stop it! Really? Oh my god, I'm just having bad luck everywhere. Oh my god, it's, I, I just don't know. I could easily catch up because it's only the first lap. But once it hits the second or third lap, there's a good chance that you're not going to be able to catch up. First lap, you're able to catch up. Second lap, you may catch up. Third lap, there's no way in the world you're going to catch up. Okay. Ah, my god, this game hates me. Maybe it's because I've been recording for so much. Oh my god, stop it! Oh no! This is so bad. This is so bad. Just as long as Bowser gets in first place, I will not care. Peach, no, don't care about you. I just got to catch up now. Just look in the lead. This is as bad as when I got in first place with the Wario Stadium. Get out of my way. Oh, I should have gone that. Whoa. Look at that. See? Look at that. Second place already. Oh, snap. Get out. Get away! Toad, I don't like you. Somebody use a blue shell already. Oh, my God. This game hates me so much. Or is it the Womps that just hate me right now? They're all working for Bowser. Why do you think he's in first place right now? God dang. I'm... I may not be able to catch up. Just as long as I get at least third place, maybe I'll be able to be good. We won't know until we find out, and if I have to do this all over again, I'm just going to punch myself in the face and call it a night. Oh. God dang, Bowser. When did you get steroids? Ooh, 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 ooh. God dang. Maybe I'll be able to catch up. <laughs> I forgot that it destroys a womp. That's just beautiful. That is beautiful. That is just beautiful. Not gonna lie. 
when I saw that thwomp just just gets destroyed, that just brought me that just brought a smile. But how am I in first place? I don't even know. But that still brought a smile to my face, knowing that that thwomp is dead. It may have a family, but that thwomp was in my way of actually getting me victory, so it had to go. Oh god. Oh. Oh, that was sweet. Again, no clue how that happened. No clue how any of that happened. I'm gonna have to review it. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a replay if I have to, but I still don't know how I got there. Stop hitting the wall. Okay, that was that that made that made my night. <laughs> that made my night, so I'm gonna continue playing. Oh even then. Oh, it's nine points. Okay, so it goes nine, six, three, and then one. Toad, toad, toad. Oh well. It took me like a good, I don't know how long, I think it took me a good 15 minutes to get back here. Worth it. It worth it. Whew. Ow, my arm hurts. I kind of actually may have done a little bit of lifting, because when to Walmart, I needed to get some water. Nobody was there to help me out, really. So I was like, uh, I'll just use my left arm. Then I used a little bit of my right arm to rearrange it. Bad idea. Now my arm kind of hurts a little bit, so I'll probably have to ice it up for the night and see how well that goes. Hopefully we still have the ice pack. If not, then that's going to be awkward. I've slept with the ice pack before. It didn't bother me whatsoever because I was so tired. I just literally passed out with the ice pack on me. I wake up and I find out that my arm is nearly frozen. But hey, it kept down the swelling and helped with the healing process, right? Yeah? Oh, sweet, sweet gold trophy. <laughs> Yay!